Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can compile your C++ program using G++ on your Ubuntu Linux operating system. So let's get started. So for that, we will need a terminal. So to open a terminal on the latest version of Ubuntu, you just need to click on this icon and then search for a terminal and this terminal icon will appear. So just click on it or you can press Control alt t to open a new terminal. Now G++ is already installed on the latest version of Ubuntu and to check it, you can just uh, press G++ minus minus version and then press enter and it will give you the version of G++ you have. So right now I have the G++ version 7.3.0 and I have the Ubuntu version 18.04 LTS version. So if you see this output, then G++ is working fine on your system and you are ready to create your first C++ uh, program. If this kind of output doesn't appear and it says G++ is not recognized or the plus command does not exist, then what you need to do is you need to uh, give this command in order to install uh, the G++ and GCC and other essential packages. And this command is this one, sudo apt install build essential. I'm going to give you this command in the description so you can directly copy this and paste it into your terminal. But this command you will need only when you don't see any version here as the output of this command. So if you don't see any uh, relevant output using G++ minus minus version command, then only you need to give this command. Otherwise, everything is working fine. So I'm going to press enter and I'm going to give my Ubuntu's password and then press enter. It's going to install build essential packages on my Ubuntu operating system. And you can see build essential is already in the newest version on my Ubuntu operating system, so I don't need to do anything. So let me clear the terminal. And now we can uh, just create our C++ program and then compile it. So right now I'm in my home directory, so I can just give this command pwd, which is uh, present working directory. And I'm in my home directory, which is when you open uh, this uh, folder explorer this is your home directory right so if you want to change it to some other directory you can give cd for example i want to go to the desktop or change the directory to the desktop i can just write cd desktop and i'm in the desktop so i'm the working directory now is the desktop directory and let's say i want to create a cpp file i can give this command touch and then the file name for example hello dot cpp there are many ways of creating file using a command line on your ubuntu operating system this is one of them i'm going to use this but you are free to use any command which can create uh, this hello dot cpp file so i'm going to just to give this command and then press enter and you can see this hello dot cpp file is created so I'm going to double click on this file and here I just want to write a simple hello world C++ program. So I'm going to just copy a simple hello world C++ program and then I'm going to just press control S to save this program or you can press this button to save your file and then close it. And now in order to compile your C++ file using G++, you need to write G++ command and the file name which you want to compile. So the file name which we want to compile is this one, which is hello.cpp. And when you just press enter, it's going to compile your hello.cpp and this file will be created, which is a.out. So a.out is the default output of this uh, G++ and the file name, whatever you want to compile. So when you give this command, a.out is the default output which you will get. And this is the binary which you can execute. So I'm going to just uh, execute it using dot forward slash a.out, which is the file created by this command. And then press, press enter and it prints hello world, which is the output of this hello world program. 
So let's say I want to just uh, print something else after hello world, some random string. And this time I want to create my own output file and I want to give the name of the output file by myself. So to do this, you can just write this command g++ hello.cpp and in order to provide your custom output file name, you can give this flag which is minus o and then your output binary names. For example, output which will be the file name of the binary when this file compiles, it will be uh, converted into this binary, right? And then press enter. And you can see this output file is created, which we can execute using dot forward slash the file name, which is output and then press enter. And you can see it prints hello world and our random string. So these are the two commands which you can use to compile your C++ program using G++. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.